After an 8,000-mile, 23-hour flight, the workhorse of the U.S. Air Force, Global Hawk Unmanned Aerial Vehicle 3 was home. It landed at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California on the morning of February 20th. This one UAV spent almost four years conducting critical intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions in the global war on terrorism. She's flown over 4,000 hours in the last four years, including two-thirds of the missions over uh, uh, Operation uh, Enduring Freedom over Afghanistan, and also most of the missions supporting uh, Combined Task Force Horn of Africa and Operation Iraqi Freedom. This particular Global Hawk was built as a test asset, but was sent overseas after the tragedy of 9-11. General Tommy Franks, the commander of Central Command at the time, needed to know what was going on in Afghanistan. He needed eyes on the battlefield. That's exactly what Global Hawk provides. The most recent deployment saw the Global Hawk system mature into an invaluable intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance platform sought after by battlefield commanders around the world. During a typical 24-hour mission, Global Hawk can image vast areas and provide pinpoint targeting information to battlefield commanders in near real time. The war fighters have been provided with over 35,000 images, over hundreds of stories. This Global Hawk was an important intelligence asset during the infamous sandstorm of Operation Iraqi Freedom. But during this entire time, Global Hawk using its weather penetrating radar system was still able to operate high above the battlefield and image an Iraqi Republican Guard division. Coalition air planners using the target data provided by Global Hawk were then able to target and destroy most of the Republican Guard division. Deploying this Global Hawk years before the original plan had many benefits. So this vehicle and this system and this program has been very key to us been able to rethink how we deliver capability to those that really need it in supporting the uh, global war on terror. Global Hawk's operational debut came well ahead of its planned uh, operations. This was a bold move by the Air Force and helped the service improve in three areas. Locate and fix targets, ability to strike anywhere, and ability for command and control. The Global Hawk Air Force team and Northrop Grumman worked closely together with one goal, help protect our troops overseas. And save countless lives by identifying hostile targets long before they were able to threaten American ground forces. UAV-3 was sent home because two production version Global Hawks were deployed. They are now flying near continuous surveillance missions in the global war on terror.